What's going on guys, Mason here, today we are back with another episode on our channel. Today we're, I'm going to make a review on the previous update, which was, they added the Elytra, I think. Uh, I think it's in how to play, there you go. Yeah, they uh, added a new tutorial world, uh, uh, they added all of this. So I'm basically going to show all of that, even though there's about a thousand people that probably did it. But, uh, yeah, anyways, uh, that's what I'm gonna do today. So, yeah, guys, let's start right away. I'm going to start just showing the new things that there is. So, let's just make a new world. Put this on creative. Amplified word, worlds. Generate a world with huge mountains and deep... Oh, yeah, that, that. Uh, yeah, why the hell not? And let's put host privileges, and yeah, that's it. Okay, let's create this thing. Okay, we're in. Okay, oh wow, they weren't kidding. Hi, man. Oh my god, you know what I realized? This is gonna be so fun with Elytra. Oh my god. Ooh, let me try this. Hold on. Uh, no, I'm just gonna stop fooling around. I'm just gonna go down there. I'm horrible at this. Oh, wow. Uh, even the sound effect that comes with it. Okay. So, yeah, this is Elytra. So, what this is, it. Th not really. F does it permit you to. Oh my god, my English is so bad. Uh, it doesn't let you fly, it just glides. Like, you can glide smoothly down. But, if you're in creative, look, I can, if I press X while I'm flying, I can just go up. So, in creative, I can fly, oh my god, this is so annoying. Hold on. Okay, never mind, guys, I don't know how to do it. Oh, what the hell? Oh, yeah, that happens. Ugh! Yeah, okay, I'll stop messing around. I, I just love this Elytra so much. So, I'll gather up all of the things, and I'll let you know when I'm finished. Okay, guys, so, uh, I think I have it all. There's uh, this big, giant uh, dragon head here, which can be activated by redstone. Oh, by the way, I'll show you how to craft and get all of those things after. Uh, if you activate this dragon head with redstone, it talks, kind of. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, shit, it broke. And if you put it on your head, well, you can't put it on your head. It's, yeah, scary. It's as big as my body, how can I lift this? Okay, never mind. Uh, now, in the brewing, the brewing interface changed a little bit. Uh, let me just... Put this, put this. This. And this. There you go. Now, this changed. Now, to brew potions, you need blaze, ro the blaze powder to charge things up. Uh... Let me just get a few ingredients here. Nether wart. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Nether wart. And after I'm going to get... Where's all the crafting things? The potion things. Sugar. There you go. So, if I put this in here, nothing happens. If I put some blaze powder... It charged up and it also stays charged for a few brewings so while that cooks here are the new things there are purple pillars purple blocks purple pillars I'm just gonna get them all out the pillars they actually oh my god that sound effect they actually are pretty beautiful then there's a purple block the slab 
and the stairs. Now let's put some sugar. There you go. Now there is chorus fruit. Right, put this back in here. Chorus plant, chorus flower, and popped chorus fruit. Just let me just get this. Uh okay, so how do we plant this again? I think it only plants on a block which is called why can't I find there you go. Okay. Ooh, and stone bricks now. Can I plant this on the no. Oh wait. No. If I put a normal end block, will I be able to? Yes, I can. Okay. Once you break that, uh, the, these things spawns on top, I think. I know. I, I'll show you in the end. And when you break these, it gives you curse fruit. Let me just get a few of those. Curse fruit allows you to randomly teleport you when you eat it. I don't know what's the purpose of this. But okay, it's cool. I'll give it to them. And popped chorus fruit is obtained when you cook. I, I don't need a tutorial on this. When you cook this. And if I am not mistaken. Not here. Oh, wait. Purple pillar, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Red nether brick. You can create moss stone now? Oh my god! About freaking time! Sorry, guys. <laughs> I just. Oh, wait, there's a. Why can't you upload it? Mm. Oh, I forgot about those. Okay, nether wart block. I suppose it's created once you. Okay, there you go. To make purple blocks, you need four of these. Magma blocks. Okay, I don't know if that was here before. Yeah, it was here before. It's not part of the new update. Uh. Wait, what was that? Oh, okay. So yeah, when you once you have the popped chorus fruit, there you go. You can create these. Okay, get on. Now these end rods, and I don't know if that's craftable. Oh well, guys, you can create end crystals now. I didn't know you could create them. Oh wow. And crystals, by the way, uh, you can only spawn them on. No, that's a block of coal. On a. God damn it. On obsidian. Oh. My god. <laughs> I didn't know the explosion was that big. Oh my god! Oh my god! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Ah! Uh. I'm losing so much time here, but I don't care. Hopefully, this will go. As planned. <laughs> what is this? Holy shit! <laughs> it's a nuclear bomb! Okay, continuing. Yeah, I was looking for the end rod. Right. There you go, found it. Oh wow, it's actually really easy to create. Oh wow. Yo, so yeah, that's how you create end rods. And uh, I don't know. It's a dick. Okay. 
it's a decorative light. Oh, but we well, could you could do a chandelier with with it. Oh, how how's it called in there? I don't know what's it called in English. Elytra has I showed you it earlier. To deploy it, all you have to do is jump. Don't do it. You have so much to live for. Don't do it. You jump and you press X while you're in mid air. And be sure not to bump at the walls or go straight down onto a flat surface or you'll die. Yeah, dangerous. Next, there is Dragon's Breath, and I don't know what it's used, and I don't know how you get it. But I will find how you get it. Now, these potions. Lingering potions. They're like, uh... Yeah. I don't know how to explain it. I think you can see what it does. Just creates an, air an area. Lingering potions. I'm gonna try to do lingering potions after. How? D oh wait, does it say? Increases the movement speed of the affected player. Animals. No. I don't know. Okay, uh, luck. Basically what that does, it gives you better luck when you fish. Yeah. Um, arrows with effects on it. All the effects here. You can check for yourselves, there's a lot of arrows with effects. I can't believe an arrow can heal you, hold on. I need to try this. An arrow that heals you. Uh, yep. Boop. Boop. Okay. Let's start by putting ourselves into survival. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I covered all of these. Um. What was I looking for again? Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's put ourselves into survival. Okay. Ouch. Am I in peaceful? W why? Oh, come on. Hunger. Go down a little bit. So I guess that heals me? Yeah, I guess it heals me. Okay, now boats. Boats, boats, boats. New boats. Different colors. Different materials. If I can find them. Where are they? Okay. Oh, there they are. Yeah, so there's boats, and they even changed them. Let's see. Wait. Oh wow. Oh my God, it turns so easily now. Finally, God. Okay, next, 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 next. Well, that's it. I covered about everything. Huh. Okay. Oh, and the crafting table changed. Um, how do you go? There you go. If you use L2 and R2, you can change banners. You can change the greeting banners and then to create, yeah, this. How it works. So, what I'm going to do is find the ender portal to show you how to get the. Oh, wait. Uh, and rod. I'm gonna show you how to get this, this, this. There was the lid lingering potion. And I think that. Oh, and the tipped arrow. 
also I'm gonna try to know how you do them and is that it oh I'm gonna show you about the plans okay N anyway I'll see you once I get there I'm here Wee! I'm here okay break this finally got it and I think there's a I think there's a zombie spawner close. God, that would have been a disaster in survival mode. I just wasted two of my. my I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> okay. So, what you need to do first of all is. And who the hell is touching me? Rawr! Okay. Um, I'm just gonna get ready and geared up. For the fight, and I'll talk to you when I'm, I'm ready to go to the end of the world. Okay, I'm ready. Have a sword, a bow, and a slowness. Let's see if it's wor the wor uh, worse on the dragon. God, you gotta start annoying! Die! God, I'm a terrible shot. Let's go. Ow, ow, loud. Loud as hell. Okay, so I don't know yet how to capture the dragon's breath, but I'll try to find out. So let's start by destroying all these things. Okay, let's hit him now. Gosh, this is loud. I'm going to have to cut the sound on this. Alright. If you not if you can't hear me prop ow. Oh I think I know how to collect it. I think I know how to collect it. Got it! I got some. So yeah, I guess all you have to do is wait until he shoots you. Like that. Yeah, there you go. When you shoot you, you just grab some like this. And I don't know what what it does. Okay, so I figured it out on myself. I thought it was something like that. Okay. I'm not gonna talk for a while. I'm probably gonna try to accelerate the clip until I, the dragon's dead. So, if I can do it, I'll start it right now. That's embarrassing. Yay, XP! Woo, woo! Oh, more. How much level was? It? How much levels was that? Fifty-four. Oh, fifty-seven. Any, any more? Oh, sixty-one. Oh, damn. Mm, that seems about right. Yep, that's good. Okay, so let's not do any mistakes. Let's take this dragon thingy, Jigger. 
So yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I could speed up the video, but if I couldn't, I will just have to cut it out. And by the way, I did an awesome shot, shot in all this. So yeah. Okay. Uh, where is the torches? I know they're somewhere around here. Okay, there. Just grab the dragon egg. And then, because I'm so clumsy, just gonna have to do this. And this. Okay. Because I'm really clumsy. There. Just to make sure I don't lose any of them. There you go. Okay, so once you defeated the great beast. Oh, there, there it is. Uh, there should be this that spawned. Now, there's, in survi there's two ways to get in this. One way in survival. And the second way isn't creative. So... The survival way, survival way is to throw an ender pearl, ender pearl in this. You can climb your way up to the to it and throw an ender pearl in it, or my way, just do this. <laughs> my God, that's so trippy! But just for the fun of it, I'm just gonna try it. Boom! It works. Oh, that's. That's well thought. What? Okay. No. It didn't spawn? Oh my god, no! What are you saying? Nothing spawned? Oh, that's messed up. I can't believe it. I just... What? How did it not spawn? Shoes right now, and you see how easy it is to collect these. Just coming through. Oh my god, that is so satisfying. What is this, man? If this would happen in survival mode, I would flip out. I think there's an option. Oh yeah, reset the end. Reset the end. God, I ho I hope that works. Gonna be really bad in survival if that happens to you. You have to beat the dragon all over again. Oh, do you have to really get over there again? Well then, guess I'll see you when I'm there. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm um, sorry, but I just simply can't find it. I tried to find a portal, I just couldn't. So, yeah, did what I did, uh, just open the portal, go in the portal with ender pearls, or in, if you're in creative, whatever. So, once you get in there, there will be a huge issue, uh, normally, if what happened to me doesn't happen to you, there should be a huge, uh, how's it called, castle-like, with a bunch of branches, there's treasures in there. But, if you want the dragon head and the elytra, there will be a boat around. Just search for the boat. In the boat, there will be... Oh, wow. That lift off. In the boat, there will be two... There will be one dragon head and one elytra. But, beware. There is monsters. Monsters. Oh my god, there have so much stuff in my inventory. What the hell is this? Uh, there is a monsters in there. So let's see the monsters. Is 
are they there? Oh wait, did it add sounds for the witch? Wait, no, that's an ender mic. Oh yeah. Yeah, they did. Uh, let me just search for it for a little while. Shulker, there. They just teleported. Okay, so you can't, it doesn't do a lot of damage when you do it like this, but they're going to, hey, a block. Oh, there it is. They do that, so it lets you time to hit them. Okay, so shulker, that noise. And yeah, let's see what else there is. Add a new mobs, shulker, stray husk. What are those? That noise is so terrifying. I'm just gonna go now. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I sure did. Oh my god, that's so creepy. <laughs> so, yeah, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure to leave a like, uh, comment down below, and share the video even if you want to. And, uh, yeah, see you guys after long hours of editing. Bye bye! Okay, guys, I forgot to tell you about uh, the husks, the strays. Lingering potions and uh, tipped arrows. I mean, the, the the potion arrows. So the husk is basically this. It's a zombie that doesn't burn in the sunlight. And when it hits you, it gives you hunger. So yeah, you can only find them in the desert. And as for strays, I didn't find out how to get them. So, to make lingering potions, this is where the dragon's breath comes in. So first you're gonna start by making your potion. Yeah, we have to put blaze rods, blaze powders now. Boom. There you go. Um, while that cooks up, I'm gonna show you how to make the, the, the arrows. It's kind of hard, I don't know. So you go over here, and look, all of the potions are right here. And all you have to do is take the lingering potions, put arrows all around it, and put the lingering potion in the middle. So by example, if I go get eight arrows, and is that done? Yes, that's done. Oh my god, I'm so rusty at Minecraft. Okay, get rid of this, get rid of this, get some, where is it, I'll catch you back. Okay, it's done, floating potion. Okay, so there's this, awkward potion, and now I have to get this back. God, I hate myself. There you go. Done. Add some gunpowder, and then add some dragon's breath, which I showed you earlier. You have to get it when the, the ender dragon shoots at you. The little particles at the ground, you have to get the purple particles, you have to bottle them, it gives you the dragon's breath, which then allows you to make the lingering potions. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Potions for days. There, this is, this is how you regenerate. Whee! Okay, I'll stop now. And now, for the arrows, let's...
let's do this. Gotta hate this. Hold on. Ah, way better. I love this. Brings up the classic. And now, let's start to shoot a little bit. Oh, and here's another thing to try. Okay, so now I have hunger and my health is down. Quick, quick. Oh, it actually does damage to you. Oh, wow. That's not useful. Not useful at all. So, yeah, anyways, that was about it for the stuff that I forgot. So, see you in the next one, guys.